the idea of being able to screen populations for eye disease remotely, non-invasively, and without a skilled clinician is very exciting to me. Physicians like Jay Duca are excited about this idea of remote or telemedicine because they know that eye diseases like glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic retinopathy are becoming more and more common. We're all going to need more help with our eyes, but we'll face a medical system that may not be able to meet the demand. That makes it even more important to provide access to care um, while minimizing uh, the uh, necessity uh, for people to actually physically uh, see a physician because there just won't be enough physicians. And so researchers are looking for ways to bring detailed eye exams out to all of us rather than asking all of us to crowd the doctor's offices. One of the most promising solutions is a technology called Optical Coherence Tomography or OCT. OCT is already an indispensable tool for diagnosing eye disease but for now you can only get an OCT scan if you visit your doctor. Researchers are fast at work on making OCT systems smaller, smarter and cheaper so that someday we might benefit from an OCT diagnosis in a much more convenient way. For instance, uh, in, a, in a department store, just the way that you get your blood pressure checked, you might have an OCT that would be able to tell you uh, you know, you have diabetes uh, and you need to see a doctor for that. Or uh, you have macular degeneration, um, you need to see the doctor. Or maybe it would say you need to take these vitamins. Um, and it might say, well, you have glaucoma damage. But the dream doesn't stop there. Researchers are wondering if it might be possible to get OCT even closer to the patients who need it. It's perfectly reasonable to think that OCT instruments could show up in people's homes. You can have an OCT in the, in the iPhone or any phone and then you can scan your eye and then you send it to the physician and then the physician will get an alert and say, oops, I have to see this patient and he'll get an, an, an answer back, a message back saying, you have to come right away. These versions of remote OCT would be tremendously useful, but researchers are also at work on systems that could be used by people who don't have access to shopping malls and smartphones. In the third world, it's probably even more important. Uh, there really are not enough clinicians in the third world to see all the patients who have disease. And therefore, the skilled clinicians in third world countries need to see just patients who have disease and not see normal patients. A an instrument like this would be able to screen out those normal patients, so not to take up the time of the, of the, of the skilled clinician. So it's really going to change the way we care for patients how patients are monitored at home, and how internationally patients are cared for. If we're to reach this future, OCT units need to become smaller, but they also need to become smarter. We'll need software in the machines themselves and in the offices of the doctors receiving the images that can make sense of incredible images that OCT produces. Here too, researchers express hope. This is a, a digital technology where uh, automated computer uh, recognition of pathology is actually quite possible. In fact, researchers around the world are proving it can be done. One such place is Vienna, Austria, where a group of physicians has teamed up with computer scientists to create computers that can sort through the thousands of OCT images a doctor's office might receive. Well, digital image analysis, of course, allows to come to solid conclusions in a more standardized and faster way so that we are sure that we look on the right thing, the most important clinical features. And this is extracted automatically in a few seconds, so an eye doctor would be able to make a precise diagnosis in many more patients. Dr. Schmidt Erfurth and her colleagues note that such technology won't ultimately replace skilled eye doctors. It's simply to ensure that each of those doctors has the power to help more and more people. So that is the additional add-on to the clinical mind of the doctor that can then use, like enhance, enlarge his own brain and use the computer knowledge to come to the right conclusion. And that, that drives me into improve the technology to help people. And, and it's much more than that. 
instead of helping, you know, that uh, 100 patients that I'm seeing in a week or whatever, I'm, I'm helping 100 millions of patients helping the development of OCT.